Hey, how's everyone doing out there in Model Land today? This is Hunter coming back at you. For all my metal fans out there, I'm rocking the King Diamond shirt today. Long live the diamond. Um, wanted to do a uh, small little video here on um, a couple questions, and we're going to proceed with the uh, painting the enamel uh, technique that I use. Um, one question that came up is uh, about the thinning of the enamel. Um, yes, you can use an enamel thinner or mineral spirits, I guess, if you want to. Um, you know, that, that is, I guess, an acceptable way to do it. But the one thing that you also need to remember is this is my procedures on this. Um, I do not use enamel thinners to thin enamels. I do not use mineral spirits to thin enamels. I use lacquer thinner. Um, I also use lacquer thinner to uh, thin my acrylic, my Tamaya acrylic paints. Um, and in the enamels, the reason for the lacquer thinner is it will help the paint to pull down better. Uh, it helps it to go on and lay down uh, smoother when it's finished. And it also helps it dry out a little bit faster because uh, lacquer thinner evaporates much quicker than uh, enamel thinner does. So, um, you know, that's, this is a technique that um, I've got from uh, Don Yost that does it this way, and I've tried it a couple of times. Um, it will take some time for this to dry. Uh, that's the nature of enamels, but, um, you know, and that's why I prefer my lacquers over it, but I just wanted to get that out of the way. There was a question that come up from that. Uh, I forget who it was now, but, um, yes, you can do it with, with the regular enamel thinners or mineral spirits or however you want to do it. Um, but I think the question was, is the ratio the same? I can't tell you on that. I, I do not, I don't use enamel thinner in it, so I can't tell you what the ratio is to, uh, thin the paint. Um, the, the actual ratio to thin the paint is also going to be dictated by your airbrush and, um, you know, what needle, needle and nozzle you're using, what air pressure you're spraying at. There's a lot of variables in that that can dictate, you know, how thin or thick your paint needs to be. Um, so, you know, that's something to take into consideration also. Now, the other thing that came up was, um, if I had this color in a can, um, about thinning it, uh, if it's in a can, you should not have to thin it at all. If you decant the enamel from the can and spray directly from, you know, if you decant it into your airbrush and spray it. You should be fine with that. You should not have to cut that anymore. Uh, most airbrushes will accept uh, the, the consistency of the paint that's in, inside a can. Um, but that, again, does not apply to my technique that I'm showing here because that is basically just decanting enamel and spraying it onto the surface. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to act like an enamel. It's going to, you know, it's the same thing. It's going to take longer for it to dry. It's not going to pull down as well. So, I just wanted to kind of touch on that to let everybody know that, you know, yes, there's other ways out there to do it. There's other ways out there that work. Uh, this just happens to be the way that I sit down and practiced it and the way that I can make my finishes come out. Um, you know, and it's just giving you another option out there. It, I'm not saying that you have to do it that way or that's the only way it can be done. Uh, you know, there's many different ways to do paint. Uh, but what you're looking for in the end is a smooth nice shiny finish um you know and you can get that through spraying the paint that way and not have to wet sand and buff it or you can spray the paint like i do and you know uh make sure you get enough clear on the car and wet sand and buff all your finishes uh, that is what i do on every car i mean that's just my procedure so but anyway getting back to the uh to the build that we're working on i've got the little jaguar here on the stand and um, I did a step in this that uh, most of you wouldn't do at, at, the, at this stage. I did this for a reason, and I told you I'd touch on why I'd done it. Um, this body was all white. This, was, this body was kit white when we started. And on my last video, you seen where I was scribing the lines on the uh, kit plastic, and um, I had all the mold lines sanded out of it and the, and the flaws fixed on it. All that was done, sanded out, everything sanded fine. I didn't have to use any fillers or any guide coats or anything. So everything looked pretty decent on that. Now, uh, this car, I'm not painting it the black that's in the in this picture. 
but where you see the black, that is going to be the color that we mixed up yesterday. Um, the teal that we mixed up, that's what that's going to be. And you can see down through the center of the hood, the roof, and onto the tail there, um, that white. Okay, that white is not a decal. The only thing that comes in a decal is those little uh, dark spears that you see um, within that white area. And the white, uh, there's like a tiger head or a lion head on the side of it. No, it's a jaguar. That's what it is. It's a jaguar head on the side of it. That makes sense. Um, that's a white decal. So what I chose to do with this thing is instead of painting this enamel, which is going to take about a week for it to dry out altogether, um, and then go back and tape off and spray again, um, to save myself any trouble as far as the taping process and stuff like that, what I have done is I took Tamaya um, Flat White XF2. Uh, it's got a little bit of lacquer thinner in it. Not much. I cut it down so it sprays through my airbrush and lays down well. And when I got done with it, you know, this is, this is the car with the Tamaya flat white sprayed over the entire car no clear coats no sealers none of that kind of stuff it's just tamaya flat white cut with lacquer thinner and sprayed over the entire car light coat nothing nothing crazy um reason for that is that now gives me my white uh base for through the center here where i'm going to do the white graphic and what i will do is the next step is i'm going to go in and i'm going to tape off this white area that's going to stay white because that's where my decals are going to go and then everything else that we'll be spraying when you see it over in the booth when we do the next video is going to be putting the teal on everywhere um, except for this center band down through down through the center of the car here so um, like I say but if you're following along just to do an enamel paint job this would not be something that you do this is just a procedure because uh, the acrylics um, you know, really pull down good with the lacquer thinner, and they'll look real good, and they dry almost instantly uh, with the lacquer thinner in them. I mean, this, I can basically wipe this off in 10 minutes, and, um, you know, i uh, tell you another little trick that I do with this. Whenever I do um, the acrylic tamayas with lacquer thinner mixed in them, and I spray the surface, I will take a little piece of my blue shop towel and I will fold that kind of like in a little square and I got that folded up in a little square there and I use that as a very light abrasive uh, somebody made a mention that paper towels are abrasive yes they are uh, the reason why I do not use a regular paper towel on this is because paper towels tend to have a lot of lint on them and these do not uh, and, and that was just just dry, so it's a dry piece of uh, shop cloth, and you can go over this Tamaya paint that's been cut with the lacquer thinner, and I've already done this whole car, but I'm just showing you the technique, I'm just sliding it back and forth across the roof there, and uh, what that does is it actually takes any of the dryness and any of the, um, the graininess that's in the paint, it will take that out, as long as you have a thin coat on this, if you've got a real thick coat and it's got an orange peel to it, you're not going to get it out doing this. And you don't want to sand it because sanding acrylics is not a good thing. Um, they just basically come right off the surface and, you know, you got to kind of start over. So, But, uh, like I say, if you're following along with, with the enamel painting process, the next video I'm going to do is going to be where you want to pick up from after the video on when we mixed up the uh, teal and with the lacquer thinner. And then I added that little bit of uh, my custom touch to this and we put it into this bottle. I'm going to put this directly into the airbrush after this is taped off, and we're going to start spraying the enamel on top of this uh, a white acrylic that's down here. So that, that'll be where you pick up from. I've got all the lines scribed out. Everything's good to go, so we should be ready for paint. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing taped up, and um, when we come back on the next video, we'll be over at the spray booth, and uh, I'm going to show you the procedure that I use as far as um, spraying the enamel onto this body. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up here real soon. Um, so if you got any questions or concerns, just leave me a message on the video. I'll be more than glad to get back to you. And um, 
I'm going to let you go on that now. And uh, like always, I thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you here in a little bit.